ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶ ಕಿಂಧುವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ವಿಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಸ್ವಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರುಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರುಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಬನುತ ಬಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರ್ವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನೆ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೇತ್ತನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
जैसास्ति भक्तिर भगवती अकिंचना सर्व गुण ही सत्र समासति सर हरो भक्त शकुतो महोद गुना मनोरथे न सतो धवतो भी जैसास्ति भक्तिर भगवती ही अकिंचना सर्व गुण ही सत्र समासति सुरा हरो भक्त शकुतो महोद गुना मनोरथे न असतो धावतो वही गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पोपा जगत गुरु टोल अ वैष्णव कैन नेवर फील एनी अट्रैक्शन फॉर एनीथिंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड Anything in this material world, nothing in this material world, nothing in this within the material world can attract a Vaishnav. Attraction. Vaishnav cannot feel any attraction for anything, anything in this material world. Be it attractive for you and me. Nothing attractive for pure Guru Vaishnav. Papa speaking. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada speaking, those who are pure Vaishnav, they can understand from heart, they can realize from heart that all unstable in this material world. You may demand, I also understand, everybody can demand, that I also understand that everything is unstable in this material world. But this is not your direct realization. Common people can deserve. I also understand that everything in this material world is unstable. But this is not direct realization. Pure Guru Vaishnava always understand that nothing in this material world is permanent, all temporary. Pure Guru Vaishnava can see the far-reaching consequence of anything. Pure Guru Vaishnava can see the far-reaching consequence. You are thinking about this facility. But Guru Vaishnava can see far-reaching consequence, long, in the long term, even hundreds of years after what will happen. Pure Vaishnava can understand. They can realize past, present and future, everything. So they can understand the far-reaching consequence of anything. Because their darshan power, their darshan power is open to all, open everywhere. Our darshan power is controlled by Maya. Our darshan power is controlled by Maya. You can see. Popad used to give one example. Popad used to give one example. Nice. What is that? Popad used to give one example that perhaps you have seen horse going in Calcutta. You know, Calcutta, a congested city. Calcutta, Bombay, so God. horse is going. Suppose the mountaining police or the con you know, controlling the horse. Uh, first of all, he is, he is going to put one cover here, cover this, so that the horse cannot see here and there. Horse can see only the track. Horse can see only the track where to put leg. Horse is not allowed by his master to look here and there. Follow. Horse can only see the way he is going. The horse working this. This way, pure Guru Vaishnava, this way, pure Guru Vaishnava, all the time, try to control us, our darshan. Of course, if you have your submission, 
If you have no submission, then no question of controlling. If you hundred percent submit, showing have hundred percent submission under the lotus feet of Gurudev, Gurudev, it is the duty of Gurudev to control you, to control your darshan, to control your hearing, control your activities, control your sleeping, control your eating, prasadam, all. All control. If you feel disgusted, then it is my duty, you can get lost. If you feel disgusted, what kind of controlling you are doing, huh? huh? Then you can get lost. If you lose your patience, then 100% you cannot become Vaishnava. If you lose your patience, that Gurudev is putting so much pressure on you, then you can get lost. You cannot come out successful. All our activities, all our thinking, all our doing, all our everything should be controlled by our Guru Padma Shad Guru. Then the question of success can come in our life. Otherwise, Prabhupada giving another example why pure Guru, Guru, Guru Vaishnava can see everything. Why you cannot see? Why you cannot understand? What is the result I am going to do? Prabhupada speaking, Guru Vaishnava, their darshan is all square darshan, complete darshan. Our darshan, our darshan is incomplete darshan. Our darshan is incomplete darshan. But Guru Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava, their darshan is complete darshan. What do you mean by complete darshan? What do you mean by complete darshan, you know? Complete darshan means, suppose I draw one straight line. I draw one straight line. Follow? And another line I draw just vertical. Vertical, you know? Vertical? This one line I draw. After that, just vertical line I draw. So, if vertical line I draw, then those who are basic idea, those who are having basic idea about geometry, you know, geometry, then this is 90 degree angle, you know, 90 degree, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. I mean, this intersect, if one straight line going to intersect other straight vertically, vertically, vertical, then all, this is 90 degrees, this is 90, this is 90, this is 90, okay? Then 90 degree angle. Now our darshan is that, our darshan is that, Maya always try to control our darshan. What do you mean? Our darshan has some aperture. I mean, suppose this line straight, we can this this much, 30 percent angle we can see. If we are doing bhajan, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, we are increasing our power of darshan. Yatha yatha atma, yatha yatha atma parimijyat asyau, matpun nugatha savano vidhanai, tatha tatha pasyati, bashtu suksham, chakshu saivo anjana samprajuktam. What I see? You can remember this sloka? Yatha yatha atma parimijyate asau matpunna gatha savano vidhanai tatha tatha pasyati vastu siksham chakshu saivo anjana samprajuktam. It depends upon our satsangha. It depends our bhajan, improvement of our bhajan. Don't misunderstand me. It depends upon our Vaishnava Sangha. We are doing Vaishnava Sangha or not? If you say yes, then I can test you and understand that you are doing satsanga, I know. But at the same time, at the same time, you are also doing asasanga. Mixing. That's why you are not getting result. But Prabhupada speaking, 
Satsanga means Satsanga. Satsanga means Satsanga. Satsanga means Satsanga. No question about Satsanga. Satsanga means perfect Satsanga. Because if you are at all doing, if you are at all doing Satsanga, then you cannot, you cannot get any taste for Asasanga. First point. Suppose you are doing perfect Satsanga. How I know you are doing perfect Satsanga? If you are doing perfect Satsanga, then surely I can test you, you cannot have any taste for Asasanga. You cannot, yeah, useless. You cannot feel any taste. You cannot feel any taste for Asasanga. That is the document, that is the evidence that you are doing 100% Satsanga. And that kind of Satsanga can give you bumper success. Bumper success means? Bumper success means? Darshan power. What do you mean by bhajan? What do you mean by bhajan? Bhajan means to, cl to clean your darshan. Bhajan means to clean your darshan. Na? To clean. Cheta darpana marjan. Clean. Dirty. The more you are doing satsanga, then your darshan aperture. Aperture, you know? Power of darshan can increase. Mind? This way increasing. Like clock. Anti-clockwise, anti you know, increasing. Your darshan power increasing. Now, your darshan power coming vertical, you know, vertical darshan. This is your vertical line. Now, you are parallel with this line. Now, your darshan is open 180. Don't fall. 90 plus 90, 180 degree. This much. Not full darshan. Again, you are doing satsanga. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, you are hearing all the time Harikatha. Then your darshan can increase. Increase. And finally, can reach this point. When you become perfect Vaishnava, then your darshan is 180, 180. That I means everywhere open. Follow what I say. Then your darshan power is open, total. You can see past, present and future, everything clean. In blind condition, you can express some sus suspect, you can suspect Guru Vaishnava. You can express some, you can express some doubt about some pure Guru Vaishnava. But if you are going to attain perfect darshan, I mean complete darshan, then you can tally your heart with pure Guru Vaishnava. To harmonize with Guru Vishnu, this is the scientific explanation. This is the scientific explanation. This is the procedure by the help of which you can harmonize with pure Guru Vishnu. Not that, not that, not that you have, not that you served your, not that you served, you served your Gurudev for 20 years. Oh, Maharaj. I was serving my Guru Maharaj for 20 years. This is not document. You can serve for 30 years. I can show you. I can show you. I am in Basasan. I can show you. I can show you. Come with me. 30, 35 years. 30, 35 years. Continuously doing Seva of Sadguru. Hello. 35 years. 40 years. After that, fall down. How it is possible? Try to understand. How it is possible that I was busy with the service of Srila Bhakti Pong Puri Goswami Maharaj or Srila Bhakti Rakhak Sridhar Goswami Maharaj? How possible? If at all I am doing perfect seva, then I am supposed to get same mood, same Siddhanta Vichar, same Acharan. But I cannot take all their Acharan, I cannot harmonize with their heart. That's when my Seva was completely wrong Seva. My Seva was completely wrong Seva. That's why I could not harmonize with Guru Padma. My wrong, Seva was wrong Seva. 
That is why after serving for 40 years a Sadguru, Srila Bhakti Pam Puri Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Rakha Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Sangha, after serving a great devotee, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, I am, I am feeling karma. I am feeling attraction from money. Billions of dollars I already collect. More money I need. More women. More women can message my leg. It's very good. How possible? How possible that you are feeling attraction for women, beautiful woman? How possible that you are feeling attraction for money position? Then surely you are not doing seva. I show you. After serving 35, 40 years, well, no, he is feeling karma. He is feeling karma. Now his age is almost 75 years over. Still he is giving, taking some medicine to increase karma. Follow? He is increasing, consulting doctor, taking some special medicine to increase karma, to get the association of woman. Follow? There is a condition. This is called Guru Seva. Follow? This is called Guru Seva. We can love. Ho, ho, ho. We can love. You can make full of this idiot people of this world. You cannot make full of me. You cannot make full. You can make full of whole world. But you cannot make full of me. You cannot move full. Now, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, we can realize everything. Those who are hearing perfect Harikatha, doing satsanga, doing perfect Harinam, they can realize everything very clearly. Sometimes we misunderstand. Sometimes we misunderstand. We think that my Guru Padma is very nice. But another man I find in Kalyani, that man is very sattik. He is also having the same quality like my Guru Maharaj. Not that. He cannot speak that way. Maharaj, my Guru Maharaj is merciful. That man is very merciful. Also same like my Guru Maharaj. He is also giving donation to poor people. This is your wrong darshan. This is your wrong darshan. We cannot compare, we cannot compare any quality of pure Guru Vishnu. We cannot compare, we cannot compare any quality of Guru Vishnu with any material man. We cannot compare any quality of Guru, pure Guru Vishnu with other man. Outside man, who is not Vaishnava, cannot compare. Because whatever perfection, according to your darshan, whatever perfection you can discover with that man, still I cannot compare his quality with the quality of my Guru Maharaj. Because my Guru Padma or pure Guru Vaishnava, their quality is transcendental quality, a prakito. His quality is okay, okay, nice, but his material quality. Follow what I say. Externally, you, see, you, you discover same, but not same. Guru Padma, his quality, Guru Pyar Guru Vishnu, their quality is transcendental quality. Their quality is transcendental, aprakito gunavali. And the quality you discover with the man, material quality. No question of comparison. You cannot compare. Sometimes you can see, Maharaj, I went to see Sila Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. He is a very angry man. You know, there is no mercy. He can say. This is your wrong darshan. This is your wrong darshan because because Passive karma is there inside your heart. You have some passive karma inside your heart. 
So when you go to take darshan of our pure Guru Vaishnava, you are going to you are going to see that Vaishnava according to the quality, I mean the standard you have inside your heart. Follow. Suppose you are going to see pure Guru Vaishnava, but your darshan is not perfect. I give already an example. Your darshan is not complete. Now you are going to see the darshan of Bhakti Pramodhi You can say, he is very humble, Maharaj. He is very humble. I wonder. He was very humble. But I meet uh, Sila Bhakti Pramodhi Kishore Kusya. He is not so humble. Follow. Is your wrong darshan. It is a wrong darshan because according to your standard, according to your standard inside your heart, because you have your passive karma, according to the standard there inside your heart, you are going to give darshan up. It's called contaminated darshan. <clears throat> we like to tally, we, like, we, we have our fanciful mind, we have our fanciful mind. We have our fanciful mind, na? According to fanciful mind, I am getting some, some support to catch some good quality of pure good. Okay, this. But I am not getting support from my heart because I am contaminated. I cannot, that's why I cannot realize that Kesoku Simaj is also merciful, that I cannot say. I cannot see. Because my heart cannot support. I cannot see. My heart cannot support. That's why I cannot see. Otherwise, I was supposed to see all complete qualities. Though some quality, though some quality inside a Vaishnava is not totally expressed in front of you. Maybe, maybe some quality of, of one pure Guru Vaishnava not totally expressed in front. That doesn't mean that quality is not there. That doesn't mean that Keshav Goswami Maharaj is devoid of the... That doesn't mean that Keshav Goswami Maharaj is devoid of humbleness. Follow what I say. That doesn't mean that Keshav Goswami Maharaj is devoid of humbleness. He has no humbleness. But Bhakti Bhavadu is a humbleness here. Don't speak like that. That is one kind of offense. That's why Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagar Prabhupada, if somebody is going to take permission from him, Prabhupada, we can go to take darshan of the lotus feet of Bhangshidat Bhavaji Maharaj, that side or No, don't go. Don't go. Why? Don't go. You cannot understand. You can discover some fault with him. Whereas a pure wisdom is flawless. His conduct, his activities, all his behavior, all flawless. But still, if you can go with this material darshan, He is doing this. He is pure Vishnu by heart. Don't go. Similarly, we are going to discuss today about such a great, you know, such a great devotee. We are proud. We Goryamad devotee. We Goryamad devotee. Ever grateful. We Goryamad devotee. Ever grateful to see Sila. Bhakti Vaibhav, ay Bhakti Vivek Bharati Goswami Maharaj. We Goryama devotee ever, ever grateful for this great devotee, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Goswami Maharaj. Actually, he took birth in, you know, Jashor. <coughs> he took birth in Jashor district, just Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh. That time it was not Bangladesh. My Guru Maharaj is also from Jashore. Kunjo Bihari Vidyavajan also Jashore. 
So many. Jasho. And Guru Padma, when he was a small boy, you know, Bhakti Purigishi Maharaj, when he was a very small boy, that time, their village is not long distance. Their village is not long distance. And Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, his paternal aunt, you know, paternal aunt, you know, paternal aunt, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, his paternal aunt, aunt, auntie. She used to love my Guru Maharaj, a small age, very small age. And the Radha Madan Mohan Vigraha, which you can find in Kalyani Gwaispur. Kalyani Gwaispur. I can come to the point when Guru Maharaj Abhir Bhakti Rabhav coming. Now no time. There, Gwaispur, I've been there many times. That Madan Mohan Vigraha is there. That Madan Mohan can speak with you, that Madan Mohan, there. And Guru Padma, I mean the paternal auntie of Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, used to love my Guru Maharaj, a small age. Used to kiss him, give some prasadam, because she was, you know, busy with that service of that Madan Mohan Madan Mohan Vigraha. Anyway, long ago. He took birth in Joshua district, but in very young age, my young age may not so father gone from this material world. Father gone from this material world. But financial condition was not good. Financial condition was very, very poor. And his elder brother, his elder brother was there. And mother was there, these two. To support them, he was bound to do some service, government service. First of all, try to get education. After that, somehow wanted to give support of the family. Fine. Finally, he was bound to marry because that time, usually the small boys. <laughs> Father and mother, they used to arrange marriage of very small, small boy. You know, that time it was the rules. But still, no attachment was there. When Prabhupada went to Bangladesh, Bangladesh meant at present Bangladesh, that time India, East Bengal. That time Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj met him to hear his Harikatha. And that Harikatha hearing, that Harikatha hearing from Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada, that was the turning point. They are eternal person actually. It is one kind of story. They are actually eternal person. So, after hearing Harikatha from Sila Bhakti, Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada, his hearing Harikatha from him, that was his turning point of life. Leave home. And immediately wanted to join the mission of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagat Prabhupada. Follow. He joined. And Popat discover, Popat could realize is a very nice devotee. Popat could realize, Popat could realize that was the speciality of Popat. Whenever Popat looking at anybody, he can realize he has some special quality. Then Popat wanted to utilize that quality for the preaching of Gaurvani. Like I already told now, by Khyanas Goswami Maharaj, one year not complete of Diksha, Prabhupada giving sannyas. Because Prabhupada can realize what is there. 
That's why he was given, you know, Harinam Diksha at a time. And his name was Nayanaviram Prabhu. You know, Nayanaviram Prabhu? His name was Nayan Aviram Prabhu. Nayan Aviram. Mane, what do you mean by Nayan Aviram? You know the meaning of Nayan Aviram? No, no. It's actually Bengali and Sanskrit. We know. Nayan Aviram Mane? Whenever I look at anybody, anything, ah, oh, I feel as I, I soothe, you know, I feel very nice. It's called Nayan Aviram. Nayan Aviram Mane? The very sight, the very sight of Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj was so charming. Bhakti Vivek Bharti Gosai Maharaj was like Prahlad Maharaj. You know Prahlad Maharaj? You don't understand why I say Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj was dark color. Prahlad Maharaj was dark color, not white. Somebody is speaking wrong. <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj was dark color and Prahlad Maharaj was, you know, petal like eyes. Bhakti, Vivek Bharti Maharaj, he was tall figure. Tall figure, almost seven feet. Oh, tall figure. Chest is this, his chest. When going to sit any place, you can see this, who is sitting there? So powerful. Actually, power coming due to Guru Kipa. Follow what I say. Power coming due to Guru Kipa. Otherwise, so many people can preach. You can look at them. You can look at them. You cannot find, you cannot find that one can effulgence not, effulgence not coming out of them. Try to understand. Don't misunderstand me. Somebody can preach heavily. But if you look at that, this is their, it is their extra facility. It is their extra quality. It's called canvassing quality, no? Canvassing. Canvassing, you know, Prabhupada used to say. Canvassing means, suppose I am going with some item to sell in the market. I have some speaking power. So everybody coming and buying, going to buy my thing. Prabhupada used to say canvassing power. If you never mind, if you can, if you are going to, you know, misunderstand me, then big problem. If you are standing in neutral platform, if you look, look at Guru Vishnu, pure Guru Vishnu, you can see some power coming. If you look at Guru Vishnu, some sort of, you know, ray, effulgence coming, pure Guru Vishnu. Why? You know why? Due to Guru Kipa. Those who are, those who are in, those who are in line, those who are in line with Guru Parampara, especially if they if they find they are sitting in one place, any any assembly, any you can find some power coming. Follow, like Sila Bhakti Rito Madhav Gosi Maharaj, you know Bhakti Rako Sridhar Gosi Maharaj, some effulgence coming, body ray. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was tall figure, so tall figure, and our Guru Bhargava compare him just like Pallad Maharaj. Pallad Maharaj was tall figure, and eyes petal like eyes. If you look at eyes, red is in color. Red is Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. His eyes was almost red is in color, like you know. It seems some intoxication. But itself bhakti. His darshan, darshan e pavitra karo eitha margun is a hundred percent. I can speak some direct, docu direct docu document I can speak to you. Not I am making any story. I am not making any story. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was senior to Prabhupada. Senior to Prabhupada means age, age. Senior, junior is material world. In material world, we can find the seniority should be given priority. In material world, we hear something. What? Seniority should be given priority. 
Follow. Majority must be granted. You know, you hear now? No, dear? In material world, we have this kind of word. Material people speaking. Majority must be granted. Seniority should be given priority. But this is not Vaishnav Siddhanta. This is not Vaishnav Siddhanta. <laughs> In Vaishnav Siddhanta, even minority, minority, minority can be granted. Not <laughs> minority, ma'am, not majority. In Vaishnav Siddhanta, you are speaking, majority should be granted. But I think as per Vaishnav Siddhanta, minority should be granted. Because I find positive thing. But you are fighting with me. Maharaj is written, majority should be granted. But I think minority should be granted. And you think seniority should be given priority. I think juniority should be given priority. It depends upon, it depends upon the quality. It depends upon the quality is Vaishnav Siddhanta. It depends on Vaishnav Siddhanta. Otherwise, Shukdev Goswami is only 16 years. Why father, forefather? Vyasadeva, eh? Dhaumo, Parashar. All big, big rishi, long, they are aged thousands of years. <laughs> they are doing bhajan. Bharat Raj, you know, Parashar, Dhaumo, Bash, very old man. But why they are going to pay honor to Sukhdev Goswami? 16 years only. So age is not a big factor. I am bound to speak because the age of Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj was more than Prabhupada. Bhakti Siddha, Gurudev. <laughs> Still, tremendous love for Gurudev. When, when Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj coming to Prabhupada, Prabhupada looking at him. And after some time, he is giving Harinam, Diksha, everything. His, his name was Nayana Viram Prabhu. <coughs> He was a great he was a, he was a great poet. He was a great poet, you know. Hmm? Bhakti Vivek Bharti Goswami. Previous name Nayan Aviram Prabhu. Nayan Aviram Prabhu. For my eyes, it is the excellent darshan of Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maha. Nayan Aviram. I mean by his own darshan. He was successful to give a, you know, pleasant feeling inside you. By his own darshan. Nayana Viram mean, by his own darshan. By giving darshan, he was successful to give you a very charming feeling. It's called Nayana Viram. I mean, you can feel very happy to see him. Bhakti. Vivek Bharati Goshi Maharaj was given sannyas very quickly. Why so quickly? Because Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami he can understand everything. She was successful to he was, you know successful to get sannyas from and eh, Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur because of his hundred percent submission. Guru Anugatva. Guru Anugatta was successful. And Prabhupada, that time, you know, limited devotee came. Gradually, they are increasing the number of devotees. Prabhupada is going to engage him in Harikatha. Because his delivery, because his delivery of Harikatha was so nice, his delivery of Harikatha was so catchy. Any man, any man going to watch. Very respectful. Any man in front of him going to bend his eyes, head. Oh, so nice. So nice looking, so nice Baba, so gigantic personality, so nice throwing power, Harikatha. Popat usually 
used to send him between different places of Harikatha. He was in Chaitanya Mahat also with Prabhupada. He used to, Prabhupada used to send different places. And finally, Prabhupada took decision to send Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj to Bangladesh, Dhaka, you know Dhaka? You know? Dhaka? Dhaka, you know? The city of Bangladesh, I mean capital. Bangladesh. Originally, he is from Bangladesh. Eh? Follow? So, he was successful to preach there. Very nice. That time, Madhya Gauriya Mat was not established. Try to remember that Madhya Gauriya Mat was established almost by Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Almost, what I say? By Guru Power. If I, if I say that, you know, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada established, it's okay. But he was the main, he was the main preacher there. For why? For why? Now at present, we can say that we have one branch of Goryamat there in Dhaka, Madhya Goryamat. Madhya Goryamat. Try to remember, that time there was no microphone. There was no microphone almost. They're speaking Harikatha. No nice hall. Bhakti Bharati Maharaj used to go there in Dhaka, Bangladesh, by the order of Prabhupada. He used to say, he used to stay, he used to sit in a lawn, you know, lawn, in a big field, lawn, lawn, you know, grass. No chair like me, nothing. Only sitting in grass, I mean, put one asana and, and start speaking Harikatha. All people, they are coming to hear him. So, magic spell of Harikatha. No microphone, no recorder, no camera, nothing. No, nothing. Only sitting in an open field and speak Harika, sitting. By looking, my Guru Bhargava speaking. My Guru Bhargava speaking only by looking Bharati Maharaj. My Guru Bhargava speaking only by looking, only by looking at, only by looking at Bhakti Big Bharati Maharaj. People was impressed. Only by looking at Bhakti Bhiva Bharati Maharaj, they are impressed. Feeling some attraction. And Bhakti Bhiva Bharati Maharaj, as per the instruction of Srila Prabhupada, he used to recite Chaitanya Bhagavat, you know. If somebody is going preaching here and there, first of all, they can recite Bhagavat to prove that I am a great scholar. At present, a small, small devotee, they are learning uh, some uh, sloka. Ah, they are going to earn money. Ah. But it was the instruction of Popa. You can go and recite Chaitanya Bhagavad. Ah, wonder. He used to speak one one sloka of Chaitanya Bhagavad with nice, nice tone, you know, tone, tone, you know, wise. Oh, all people, they used to shed tears. He used to speak one one slok from Chaitanya Bhagavad in such a sweet voice, so cravingly that all people, their heart, feeling attraction from Maharaj. Maharaj reciting Chaitanya Bhagavad are all devotees all around, they are shedding tears. Magic spell. Magic spell. That time, I can come, Pyavapath, Abhir Bhaktiti coming, I can discuss, not now. By the inspiration, by the provocation, by the provocation, you know provocation? Provocation, you know? By the provocation of those wicked people, Sahajiya, local people started non-cooperation with Gauriyama devotee. 
wicked people. They are sahajiya. They are very jealous. They wanted to start competition with Goryama preaching. They wanted to start competition with Goryama preaching. They wanted to call one big, you know, scholar from Santipu. A great scholar from Santipu to arrange Bhagavad Katha so that all people can go there. The wicked people, the Sahaja, they, they are going to pay heavy amount. They are going to pay heavy amount to a man. They are going to hire one man from Santipu. He is a great scholar, big scholar, not great. Big scholar, according to his own estimation, according to the estimation of material people. He is a great scholar. According to the estimation, I am not going to... I am not going to speak as a great scholar. I never speak. According to the estimation of common people, material people, according to his own estimation, he is a great scholar. You are going to invite. And that man going, in, going to Dhaka, Dhaka, you know, big, nice arrangement of Harikatha. That man sitting to speak Harikatha, maybe that was Kartik Bratha. That man speaking. All people going there because the soldier don't go there. He's not great. He's great scholar from Santipur. That's a great. He can come and join our Harikatha. All people going there. And Bharti Maharaj, same thing. Many times I told now. I can never claim. I can never claim. I never dare. I never dare to claim myself as a big preacher. If I am going to do, then I am a great, big, you know, I am idiot. They are preaching, the sole, the sole responsibility of preaching is lying with Nityananda Prabhu. Whole responsibility of preaching. The sole the sole responsibility of preaching is resting unto the lotus feet of Nityananda Balaram Anantadev. Who am I? Who am I to preach? Who am I to preach? How I can how I can demand, how how dare I can speak that a big preacher? Cannot speak. So Bharti Maharaj depend upon Prabhupada. Bhakti began, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj depend upon Prabhupada. Okay? Let people go there. Same thing. Let those Acharya, let this Acharya, you know, apply some principle so that people cannot come to me to hear Harikatha. Let them do. I am not feeling angry. Let them do some black magic, tantra, mantra, anything so that people cannot come to me. At least I can speak Harikatha from, uh, for you know, for the complete satisfaction of Prabhupada. Many times it happened so. One time I was invited, one time I was long ago, I was invited by some devotee in Siliguri, you know, Siliguri district, North Bengal. Three times I was speaking Harikatha. Two times Bengali, one time I was speaking Bengali Harikatha in regulated market. Second time I was speaking Harikatha in Purushottam Brata, previous Kartik Brata, Purushottam Brata in Vidhan market, main market. Who? Shupar market. There was one place. There I was speaking Harikatha. Third time I was speaking Harikatha in Hindi in Milan Palli, Devananda Gori Mat Mat. All Devananda, I know. Devananda Guru But when I reach first time, first time when I reach Seliguri, I don't never went there. I never went there. The devotee called me. Okay, I go. Some devotee there with me. They accompany me. They are going there. When I reach the spot, all those who are, you know, with me going, they putting hand on head, Maharaj. 
Here you are Purushottam, no. He went there. It's a broken place, it's so dirty. Here you are Radhikata. They are speaking. Better we can go away. I told them, no, I cannot go away. They are passing this kind of remark. I say, no, I cannot go away. It is a testing of Bhagavan, Nityananda. It is a testing of Bhagavan, Nityananda. Nityananda wants to test me. I need money, position, honor, or pure Harikatha. What I want. So, surely I am not going away from this. I can speak Harikatha in this broken place. Surely I can speak Harikatha by the mercy of Guru Bhargava in this broken place. And that Harikatha was so successful, so nice, I wonder. By Madhikuri, I was leading my life a very poor place. Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, I learned everything from them. They are my Gurudev. So Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj started speaking Harikatha, Chaitanya Bhagavat, in a long, you know, open place. Most of the people gone. A very, a very handful of people. A very handful of people. Handful of people. They are coming to attend his radical. Bhakti Vivekananda, never mind. A pure devotee, a pure devotee can never mind. He is not going to calculate how many people are going to hear my Harikat. It's a symptom of pure, a symptom of pure Vaishnav. They are never going to calculate how many devotees, how many devotees are going to hear me, never. They are interested about the quality of Harikatha. They are interested about the point. What point? They like to give complete satisfaction to Bhagavan. They like to search the complete satisfaction of Bhagavan. That is the main thing. When Srila Bharati Maharaj was there manifesting Leela, many times I was speaking Harikatha in the birthplace of Prabhupada. Bharati Maharaj was alive. Bhakti was sitting here, order me, I am speaking in English, actually, so many foreign devotees. But now I am not getting any inspiration. Now I am not getting any inspiration to go there to speak Harikatha. Because that Vaishnava gone from this material world. When Bharati Maharaj was there, I was feeling inspiration. Now I am not feeling. Now I am not feeling inspiration. Because I know only they can arrange some prasadam. D, 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 Kirtan, Harikatha, nothing. So I avoid. When Bharati Maharaj is gone, after that I am going to avoid. One time I went, one or two times after that one. No Harikatha. So Vaishnava is a vital thing. Even more important than Bhagavan. Vaishnava is so important that I would say, this is Siddhanta, more important than Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan is not going to speak about Himself. I have the privilege, I have the scope to get the association of such pure Vaishnava. How I can forget? Do you think I am not grateful? Do you think I am not grateful? How you can, how you can put this kind of allegation against me? Do you think I am not grateful? I am ever grateful. I am ever get full up to my last breath. I like to sing the glories of pure Guru Vaishnav. I like to glorify. This is my bhajan. This is my bhajan. I don't understand what is bhajan. I understand this. My Guru Pat Padma and Guru Bhargava told me, go on glorifying pure Guru Vaishnav. That is your bhajan. Surely that can give success in your life. I, I am assured. I am assured by my Guru Bhargava. So at any condition, I like to come and sing the glories of Guru Vaishnava. Wonder. Bhartima speaking Harikatha Bhakti, Vivek Bhartima speaking Harikatha in front of some handful people. Handful. Very uh, some. Wonder. Bhartima speaking Harikatha loudly. His voice. His voice was so loud. No need of mic, you know. No need of microphone. He is speaking 
all the sloka of Chaitanya Bhagavat. Wonder. Those people, they already went, those already went to attain the Harikatha of that man who was brought from Santipur. They gradually, they gradually they are feeling disturbance. They are going to attain again the Harikatha of Bhakti Vibhat Maharaj. Wonder. They pay a huge amount of money to that man. He is a great scholar. He can recite Bhagavatam. Learned man. But I cannot say great. But I cannot say, excuse me, I cannot say great. Bharti Maharaj is great. All those people, they went to attain the Harikatha of that, you know, that great scholar. Gradually they feel disturbance. From their heart, from their heart they are feeling inspiration. I mean, Nityananda giving them inspiration. Nityananda giving them inspiration. Go there. Go there to attain Harikatha. That Harikatha is actually Harikatha. Go there. Nityananda giving inspiration. Nityananda giving inspiration. All oh, they are coming from that place to attain the Harikatha. Bhakti Vigyan Bharti, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj shedding tears, tears rolling down his cheeks and speaking Harikatha Chaitanya Bhagavata. That is the magic spell of, that is the magic spell of bhakti, you know. That is the magic spell of bhakti. Don't forget this point. Don't forget this point. That is the magic spell of bhakti. That bhakti can melt the lotus feet of Nityananda. Bhakti can melt your heart. Bhakti can melt my heart. That is the magic spell of bhakti. You can arrange so many disturbances for me, but I can go on speaking Harikatha. You can make disturbance. You are allowed. Now, so many things I like to speak, but I sorry, I am very sorry, time cannot permit. Popad wanted to open one mat. Popad wanted to open one mat there in Dhaka. But who can, who can acquire land? Who can give land? Popad wanted to open one, te one temple, Gauri Mat, in Dhaka, main city, main city, you know, main city. Main city. Who can give? No land. <coughs> Only one cut. Only one corporation field, corporation. Understand? Corporation, you understand? Corporation? Pauro Corporation taking control of area. Dhaka city. Corporation. Who can give land? No land there. Is a main city. But Pohupad want to open a temple in a main city. Who can give land? No land there. Because Dhaka from British period. Our father, forefather, we are originally from Dhaka. I took birth here. I took birth at the bank of Ganga. Originally, my forefather all from Dhaka. When the India was not, partition was not India, it was India. Follow. How wonder? Then Bhakti Bhik Bharti Maharaj trying his best. Bhakti Bhik Bharti Maharaj trying his best to acquire one piece of land in a Dhaka city itself, nobody can give. One Muslim, important people, Muslim people, Muslim, he is the chairman of corporation. One Muslim people, one Muslim people, very nice people, he is the chairman of that corporation. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj, by his personality, by his, by his gigantic personality, he was, you know, moved. The chairman was moved by his exceptional personality. Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj making some friendship with him. And someday suggest, Maulavi Sahib, Maulavi means Muslim people, Maulavi, you will have to speak. Maulavi Sahib, my Guru Padma want to open one temple for Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Could you please help me? 
Morley said, well, I can try, because I'm chairman, but there is no land. I can give you, arrange the land acquired by corporation. Eh? How you can give? It is a corporation land. I can give, arrange, everything. That Muslim, you know, Maulobi, Maulobi is speaking. Then Maulobi Sahib arranged one assembly, a meeting. Because he himself cannot do, he can comment. But all assembly members can pass, sign then. So, Maulubi Sahib going to open, you know, invite one meeting. And in that meeting, Maulubi Sahib was very important personality. He was very pious man. Muslim people, but pious man. So, all his followers, they wanted to give vote in favor of his opinion. But some, some Hindu, some Hindu, they are against some Hindu. They are against some Hindu. They are against Gauriyaman. No, why we can use corporation land? Some Hindu people. <laughs> they are against. Is corporation land? How we can give? Molubi Sahib stand up. Molubi says, stand up and folded hand. Why you are going against Gauranga Mahaprabhu? They want to open one temple. We are very lucky. Gauranga, we, we can see one temple here in Dhaka, Gauranga Mahapur temple. Why you are going against Gauranga? Eh? Whereas all our members, Muslim you know, people, they are going to vote. And yes, there should be one temple of Gauranga. Finally, Mohlabi Sahib was successful in voting, voting right. He was successful. Mohlabi Sahib going to pass that this piece of land, no... No need, this, this piece of land, we can, we can give donation to, to Gauriya Mat Bhakti Vyag Bharati Maharaj. Then the construction started, Popat going there in Chulanbari to speak Harikatha. Janma Adasya Jatu Yanme Adita Rascharta Savik. This sloka, one sloka. One, I can, I can, I can discuss. By the mercy of Prabhupada. How Prabhupada doing preaching, Bhakti Vyak Bharti Maharaj speaking. How you think? They are the heart of Gauriya Mat. You should not speak rubbish. I know, I, I know everything. That's why I am shedding tears. Now I have the scope to take some nice prasadam. Prasadam is always nice. But for material people, I am speaking this way. That time, at the time of Prabhupada, you can get the scope to take some fat rice, some very liquid dal, nothing, and some lapra. At the time of Prabhupada, no appliances. Beginning. Later, there was a place. Whoever, whoever coming to join, whoever coming to join Gauriyamat, morning time, they can get some muri, muri, you know, muri, you know, muri? Eh? Fried rice, you know, murmura, muri, you know? In morning time, snack, muri. <laughs> and noon time, you can get fat rice, some lapra, lapra mani, guard, you know? Uh, Everything mix sabji, mix, little bit mix sabji and some rice. Even no pot. I can discuss, you can shed tears. No pot. Where to? They are taking prasadam in ground. Popa shedding tears. You have no pot? Oh, Popa, I am, we are practicing our renunciation. Bairagya. Don't worry. But still, there was, still there was bhajan. There are no appliances. But still, there was bhajan. Why? Because, that time, so many Vaishnava were there. Now, you have billions of dollars, all facility, lift, car, AC, DC, everything. All. Plain, whatever, what not, what not, everything, all facility you are getting. 
But bhajan, green banana. Bhajan, green banana. Zero. Any amount of facility cannot give me the scope to do bhajan. Any amount of facility given by you to me cannot allow me to do bhajan. Hari bhajan is exclusive thing. If you can love our Guru Bhargava Gauri Mahat devotee, someday you can get bhakti. If you criticize, you can get lost in infinity world. So, by the preaching of Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, so many things I like to speak. Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj's personality was so heavy, very high personality. You know, the queen, the queen of North Bengal, Koch Bihar. North Bengal, one place, Koch Bihar. Koch Bihar, king palace is there. Queen of Koch Bihar, she was very powerful. She think herself very powerful, very strict. When he meet Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, he is going to take some amount of donation, going to give, uh, take some donation. Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj speaking, I am not coming to you to take some donation. I am coming to take the donation of your heart. Eh? My heart? Yes. Do you think I am coming to beg some money from you? Sit here. A queen. A queen was, you know, heavy queen. Queen is heavy. After looking at Bhakti Bharati Maharaj, you are shocked. Bhakti Bharati, do you think you mad? You crazy? You think I am coming here to take some donation from you? Sit here. I am coming here to get donation of your heart. I like to give this donation unto a lotus feet of Gauranga. Huh? What do you say? Yes. Went on speaking Harikatha. Change. Total heart change. Total heart change. My past darshan. I like to speak so many things, but time cannot permit, big, big problem. This way, he was successful to preach here, a so nice preaching. He wrote one very nice book, a different poet, you know, poet, he was poet, writing different verse. Popat giving certificate, Popat giving certificate to Bhaktivya Bharati Maharaj. Your poetry, so excellent. Prabhupada giving one certificate with sign. I approve. This kind of poetry, heart touching. Maybe common people cannot understand. Maybe common people cannot understand so much. But I know. Your poetry, heart touching. Prabhupada write one letter and sign, give, hand over to Bharati Maharaj. Follow. Bharti Maharaj wrote one commentary on, on the basis of Vishwanath Chakravati Pad. Uh, and Bhakti Maharaj Thakur wanted to, ex, uh, wrote, uh, wanted, to, wanted to write one commentary on Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Srimad, no, nah, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Not Srimad Bhagavad Gita. He wrote one commentary on Bhagavad Gita. Also, I have the book. That book, and also he wrote, you know, Uddhav Sangbad. Uddhav Sangbad, fat book, Bengali. So many books he wrote, so many kids and everything. So many. And when Prabhupada gone, by the arrangement of Jogmaya, by the arrangement of Jogmaya, some problem took place. It was the arrangement of not Mahamaya, Yogamaya. Some problem took place. Bharti was feeling disturbance. Oh, they are making problem. So he wanted to sit there near the Samadhi Mandir of Haridas Thakur in Puri. 
in Purushottam Dham, in Purushottam Dham, in Purushottam Dham, he started doing Harinam, okay, they are making some problem. I can leave my body by doing Harinam, like, like Bhakti Thakur. He was also giving place by Gauranga, just near Haridas Thakur Samadhi Mandir, you know, in Puri, Bhakti Thakur Bhajan place, just near Samadhi Mandir of Haridas. Follow there. And also, he is going to take one small place and they are sitting Harinam. But finally, Siddha Sarup Prabhu. Who is Siddha Sarup Prabhu? Who is, who is Bhakti Sarup Siddhanti Maharaj? Bhakti Sarup Siddhanti Maharaj, who was successful to compile all the you know, commentary of Upanishad. Upanishad, you know, all Upanishad, twelve Upanishad. Eh? Kotho, Keno, Mandukko, Shetoshar, all different Upanishad. Bihad, Aranak, all different, twelve, eleven Upanishad, men important. He was successful to, com to, to, to you know, compile by very nice commentary. Upanishad and Vedanta. That was the last desire of Prabhupada. That was the last desire of Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. That in my lifetime I was so busy, I could not, you know, I could not, I could not, you know, compile this book. What is Vedanta Bhashya? Vedanta Bhashya in Bengali language. I mean, Vedanta Bhashya already written by Baladev Vidyabhushan. Govinda Vashya, to, to simplify. Baladev Vidya was already writing in Sanskrit. To, simpl to simplify that, that explanation, commentary, to simplify and write more clearly. Because Baladev Vidya was a great scholar. He can write in Sanskrit, you cannot understand. Follow. So it was the desire of Srila Prabhupada. To compile some commentary very easily on Vedanta Sutra and Upanishad. That was that desire was fulfilled by Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj and Siddhanti Maharaj. When Bharati Maharaj took decision to do bhajan there in Purushottam Dham, near Haridasya Samadhi Mandir, then our Siddha Sarup Prabhu, I mean Siddhanti Maharaj writing one letter to Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Writing one painful letter to Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj. Maharaj, you are my Shiksha Guru. Bhakti Siddhanti Maharaj writing to Bhakti Vivek in Puri. Write one letter and send one messenger. Maharaj, Prabhupada gone from the material world. You are my Shiksha Guru. You are my Shiksha Guru. You bring me from my home. Even after Prabhupada, Siddhantima wanted to go away to home. But there was a big problem. Still, Bhakti Vyak Bharati is going there and bring, come, come. Don't go to home, come. Siddhantima is speaking. Now, our Gurudev Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada gone from the material world. You also gone from me to Puri, to do solitary bhajan. Well, I can commit some, I can commit suicide. You can do your bhajan. My writing in a letter, I can commit suicide, I cannot live without your association. Without your association, I cannot live, I can die. Immediately after getting the letter, Bhakti Yek Bharati immediately coming. Immediately coming to give the association. And the both of them, they open one Saraswat Asan in Hajra, Calcutta, almost south Calcutta. Near Chautan, Chaitanya Gauri you know? Calcutta, Chaitanya Gauri Mat, Mat. Rasbiari, near Rasbiari. Yeah, Hajra, they open one Mat. I've been there many times. Follow. This way, Srila Bhakti Vyak Bharati Maharaj and Siddhanti Maharaj, both of them joined venture. They were successful to fulfill the desire of 
Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Kusham Jam. Pohupat. So nice. They're successful. I can remember so many things, but I cannot, you know, time cannot permit. I can remember so many things. Bharti Maharaj was, Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj, he was given one property, small property in Puridam by one queen, by one queen, very rich queen. She is the queen of one state, you know. She was the, she was the queen of one state. She used to hear Harikatha from Bhakti Vivek Bharti Maharaj. She wanted to take shelter of Maharaj. Maharaj bless her. Maharaj bless her. So many. So, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj got one piece of land, very costly land, in Puri. I mean, this Rani, the queen of Rani, queen of that state, she is giving donation. Not only that, but also going to give heavy donation for making nice temple. Nice temple in the sense? Nice temple, you know, in the sense? So many decoration. The speciality, the speciality of Goryamad established by Bhakti Bharati Maharaj, Siddhanti Maharaj, very special because if you go inside the temple, you can find so many sculpture. Not sculpture actually. They are making, you know, so many. All Leela, Bhagavan. Oh, nice. All, anywhere. You can, you can go with me. Even in Navadip, you can go. You can go with me in Navadip. You can go with me. There is Navadip here. One temple. I can show you. Even outside temple, there is wall. There is wall, no? They say. Wall, some monkey there. Some monkey here. Some monkey here. <laughs> some monkey. <laughs> Why? Why monkey? Maharaj wanted to demonstrate, demonstrate the principle that a common people should follow. What is that principle? Don't hear bad. Don't look bad. Don't speak bad. So he is arranging monkey. One monkey is speaking. One monkey, this. One monkey. That's mean? <laughs> to say, don't speak bad. Don't hear bad. Don't look bad. If you can get control over your sense organs, then you can get the scope to start Hari Bhajan. At least to start. Not before that. We have no controlling over your sense organ. Oh, I am big Acharya. I am big Acharya. <laughs> you have no controlling over your sense organ. You have no Tattva Siddhanta again. Only you have some business policy. How You know how to make fool of people and bring money. How you can act as Acharya? Bhakti Bharati Maharaj was not a cheater. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. Actually, we Goryama devotee, genuine Goryama devotee, they are ever grateful. The genuine Goryama devotee, those who are ever grateful unto the latest feet of this great devotee, Sila Bhakti, Vivek, Bharti Goswami Maharaj. I can say, I would say, he was the heart of Goryama. He was the heart of Goryama. Heart of Goryama is very nice Siddhanta because. My Guru Maharaj, Guru Father wrote one book, Heart of Krishna. Or devotees, they are the heart of Krishna. So if I say heart of Goryamat, Bhakti Mahat Thakur is the heart of Goryamat, Prabhupada is the heart of Goryamat, Bhakti Bharati Mahat is the heart of Goryamat, all they are heart of Goryamat. What to speak more? This kind of Siddhanta Vichar, this kind of etiquette, so many things, someday I can discuss if Abhir Bhakti Time cannot permit, I can show that common people, they used to say, Bhakti Vivek Bharati Maharaj is a very ang angry man. <laughs> he used to beat his sevak, seva, you know. Some seva is sleeping, not doing seva, he used to beat. <laughs> so somebody misunderstand. Someday I can explain this point, not today. So, 
Excuse me, today I will have to stop my short speech. Actually, Jasya Sti Bhakti Bhagavati Yakinchana Sarva Gunai Stotra Samasati Sura Haru Avakta Shakuto Mahadguna Mano Rathena Asato Dhabato Bhai Jasya Sti Bhakti Bhagavati Yakinchana Sarvaguna is Tatru Shama Sati Suraha Haru Avakta Shakuto Mahadaguna Mano Rathina Sato Dhavato Bahi Vanchakalpadur Sekabas in the Bavich Patitanan Pavana Bavishna Vyonamun 